I would have thought there would be episodes written and ready to shoot from just before the shutdown, no? Great question. And that just depends on when the strike hit the various shows that were in production and, and at what point in production they were in. So yes, certainly some shows are better positioned to get up and running. Once the actor strike is over, they can get their shows uh, shot and on the air. And those shows will probably uh, get on the air, let's say, a month you know, before I predicted the other shows would. But that's just a handful of shows, in my opinion. I still think those are the outliers. Most of the shows will get on. You know, We'll start seeing more shows a little bit later in the season. Uh, someone else had a great question. And they said, uh, when the writer's strike was over, why didn't the writers get back to work and start writing? Well... Some did. It just depends on what the studio wanted. Their various studios, uh, you know, whether they're streaming or cable or network, you know, it depends on what they wanted. Certainly when the writer strike ended, there was a lot of optimism, including for myself. I publicly went on this app and said, I predict the writers, uh, the actor strike will be over in a matter of weeks. And uh, many studios shared that same optimism, but we were wrong. It dragged on far longer than we thought. And so some studios decided to gamble. They thought, okay, this, the actor strike will be over real fast. Let's get the writers up and running and start writing scripts. But that all costs money, remember? Like anytime you bring the writers on, you're spending a lot of money. And the studios, it's not like they want to have a bunch of scripts sitting on the shelf. They don't make money that way. They want these scripts shot. They make money when it's on the air, okay? So that was a gamble and some took that gamble and some didn't. We'll see how it pays off because the actor strike still isn't even over yet. They haven't, the actors are just learning the details of the, of the uh, agreement right now. We don't know what's going to happen. So... Lots of variables. Something else I should point out is that the writer strike started May, May 2nd, I think, of this year. But in actuality, Hollywood began shutting down months prior to that because the studios were getting nervous that there might be a, a strike in the air. And so my partner and I, we had a pilot probably about in March that we were ready to pitch. And our rep said, don't bother shopping it. No one's buying anything now. That's because the studios were hunkering down. It's not like there's, they don't get anything if... Like none of the studios wanted to buy a pilot from us just to have a script. There's no point unless they can actually shoot the damn thing. So they were not buying. We don't even know coming out of the strike what's going to happen. Like there's a big shakeup in the industry. I think there's going to be a lot fewer, you know, far fewer shows. Uh, some people are going to say, see you dumb actors and writers, you just shot yourself in the foot. Now there are fewer shows. No, 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 no. Okay. That was always the case. Far before any of these strikes, there was consolidation because, there, as we all know, there are way too many shows out there, so many that you couldn't even, they couldn't even get discovered. There's just too much out there. So at least now, yes, there might be fewer opportunities, but the people who are working will get paid better, right? And that's important. So don't blame the actors and the writers for consolidation. That was in the works well before these strikes. All right, great questions. A lot of people were really interested in how the production process actually works from my last post. Uh, so if you have more questions about that, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to them. For more, keep following me at Michael Jammin Writer.